Yeah, you know, what we found a lot, you know, recently we represented a, uh, a, a truck stop that had a, a number of, of problems with it. And, you know, most of these owners, they're not in the business of construction. They're in the business yeah. of providing medical services if they're a hospital or, you know, gasoline and, can be in, you know, in, uh, in some of those other services that come along with that. Uh, they're not, they don't understand construction. And uh, hopefully that they, they've hired someone to walk them through that. But oftentimes they rely on the general contractor to yeah. kind of be their agent, even though it's not really not their agent. Um, yep. So in, in those cases, you know, we do find that those owners, when things go wrong, they're not really prepared with the information they need to, to, to go after the, the, the party that caused the problems. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's sometimes that uh, the owners sort of, like you mentioned, depend too heavily on their, these folks that they've hired, but they kind of don't realize at the time that th those, those individuals, those companies that work for those, you know, those firms, whether it be the GC, the sub, even the architects and engineers, they all have their own interests in the project. And you've got to have something that's sort of protecting the owner. What, what would you like owners most to know about the importance of how to engage someone like your firm or, you know, you know, getting a lawyer involved early in the process? What did, what do you perceive as being sort of the best cadence there? You know, I, I think the, 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 the playbook that owners should always run is if they're engaging in a construction project, if they have the budget, they should definitely hire their own construction consultant, you know, construction manager, someone to help them yep. as the owner rep to interact with the general contractor, interact with the architect. Um, additionally, you know, having an attorney up front, I mean, to help them review the contract, that's huge. Yeah. Most of these owners simply sign off on whatever contract is given them, whether it's an AIA contract yeah. or if it's just the contractor's own uh, contract that they have developed in-house. And as you can imagine, those contracts are very one-sided in favor of the general <laughs> contractor. Yes. So, I mean, if I can tell owners anything, I'd say, hey, look, spend the money up front, hire a construction attorney, try to rebalance the risk that's in that contract because almost all those contracts always tilt in favor of the general contractor. And there are a few provisions, and I'm talking maybe less than 10, that you can really modify to really rebalance the contractual risk. 